Greetings YouTube, it is I, Revenge of the Fallen. Before I begin this commentary, I want to start off with a little anecdote. About a year ago, there was this girl in the news named Rifka Bari, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She lived in a Muslim family, but had secretly converted to Christianity, and had kept her conversion secret. When her family discovered that she was no longer a Muslim, her father threatened to kill her, forcing her to run away from home and claim sanctuary in the home of a Florida pastor. In an interview, she said, and I quote, if I had stayed in Ohio, I wouldn't be alive. In 150 generations in our family, no one has known Jesus Christ. I am the first. Imagine the honor in killing me. There is great honor in that, because if they love Allah more than me, they have to do it. It's in the Quran. The entire evangelical Christian community ran with the story and voiced their support for this brave girl who dared to defy her parents' religion. As you can imagine, they also used it to bash Islam and how intolerant and evil it was. Of course, when children of evangelical parents fall away from the Christian faith, they're never met with hostility, right? You're an atheist. Give me a fucking break, Michael. I could be wrong about that. Now, to be fair, I don't think any evangelical has ever threatened their children with death simply for turning away from Christianity, but plenty have shown great hostility towards their kids, as this woman is obviously showing. Alright, you know what? We need to start going to church every week. You mean you weren't going to church to begin with? And you're surprised that your son is an atheist? If you didn't take your faith seriously enough to attend church every Sunday, what makes you think your son should take his faith seriously? And on that matter, how is going to church going to solve anything? I mean, assuming that you did go to church in the past, dragging your son along with you, it didn't stop him from becoming an atheist, and I'm sure forcing him to attend church isn't going to change him back. It's just going to make him resent you and God even more. I've had with this. I'm sure your son feels the same way. I don't believe in God. Bullshit! You got yourself confirmed, and you said to the bishop. I'm not a Catholic, so I don't know what confirmation is, but... Assuming that it's the same thing as accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, as we Protestants like to call it, it's not going to prevent your son from losing faith in God. A person can be born again one moment and lose faith in God the next. Now, many Protestants believe in once saved, always saved, which means your son is still saved even though he has turned from God, but then again, I'm not here to discuss theology. Yeah, but a lot can happen. You can think. A lot can happen. All of a sudden, you can just quit believing in God? Um, yes. Yes, you can. You see, there's this thing God gave us called free will, which means we have a choice whether or not to believe in him or not. And that's the main reason why there's little direct evidence for God's existence, to make it easier for us to have that free will to accept or reject him. Your son isn't doing anything that God hasn't allowed him to do. Yeah. All of a sudden, there is no God. If you're an atheist, there was never a god to begin with. Yes, well, let me tell you. You want to know there's no god? Then you're going to get absolutely nothing. Nothing for Christmas, because that's what Christmas is about, is Jesus Christ. I think you have Jesus Christ confused for Santa Claus. And not giving your son any presents on Christmas isn't going to make him accept God. It's just going to make him resent you and God even more. Okay! No! It's not okay, Michael! For some reason, this woman reminds me of someone. I just, I just don't know who. She's not a Christian! Ah! I'm a God warrior! Get the hell out of my house. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Because I don't want to see any of this dark side of psychics, all the things, tarot card reading. I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. My oh yeah, the crazy Christian lady. This is Revenge of the Fallen, signing off.